Hey everyone, French Tutor here. Today I'm going to show you how to reroll efficiently, and I'll do my best to answer any questions you have about rerolling. But full disclosure, rerolling is super easy right now because of the five redemption codes that give a total of 400 stellar jades, which are like primo gems for Genjin players. But I believe they only last a few days. After the codes are gone, it's just a bit more grinding, so it's not so bad. I'll leave the codes in the description down below for easy copy and pasting. I'm going to show you step by step the quick ways to do things like which dialogue to choose, how to beat the bosses quickly, and which characters to initiate combat with for easier battles. For this guide, I'll be showing PC controls, but it is essentially the same on other platforms. Make sure to use the timestamps if you want to skip ahead or pause when I skip cutscenes since you can't skip those. And is it worth re-rolling? In my opinion, the departure banner is. If there is a standard 5 star you absolutely want without spending money, I'd say it's worth it. I've gotten multiple 5 stars, just as you saw here from my first 20 pulls, but if you feel burned out though and just want to enjoy the game, I highly recommend that as well. But for the Zilla banner, it's a huge commitment, so that one is up to you, and I'll discuss more at the end of the video. But anyways, let's get right into it. Okay, so when you first start the game, you have this little cutscene. You can't skip it, so you just have to wait. Once the cutscene is over, just keep spamming spacebar or just keep mouse clicking to skip all the dialogue. Okay, and then you're going to start a battle and it's going to tell you to click on these green circles and just keep clicking like everything like Osu. These kind of tutorials are going to happen a lot, so just keep this in mind. Okay, go up in front of the door and press F to open it. And then just right click and just dash once and it will just automatically keep running. Once you open the door, you just click on this enemy and you do another tutorial battle. Once the battle ends, there will be a little cutscene. After there's some dialogue which you could skip by spacebar and clicking, you just switch to Silver Wolf and then just open the door on the left. As Silver Wolf, hit this enemy and then you start another tutorial battle. After the battle, it unlocks tutorials but don't even click anything and just keep running towards the door at the end. Once you get there, you're going to fight enemies again and do another tutorial battle. After the battle, there'll be some dialogue so just keep spamming mouse click or spacebar. After the dialogue, go to the right and press F on this computer, and then the second computer will be behind you on the left. And then talk to Silver Wolf. Once that's over, go over to this computer and press F. After some dialogue and a cutscene, just go over to Silver Wolf. And the rest is straightforward, just go to this computer, press F, and there's gonna be a bunch of cutscenes, and then you have to just pretty much make your own character and choose a name. After that, there will be some dialogue and a cutscene. A bonus tip, if you see dialogue like this where there's choices on the top, you always want to pick the bottom choice so you can skip the dialogue. After some dialogue, there's going to be a lot of tutorials where they ask you to open the character menu, and basically you just have to click all the circles and squares again. Pretty straightforward, just keep going and start the battle with March 7th. After the battle, just go left. After some dialogue and a cutscene, just get this chest while it's on the way. Then another tutorial pops up and you just have to click and shoot an enemy. After the tutorial battle, just go straight to the computer in front of you. After the cutscene, Dan Hong joins your party and you just have to follow the tutorial to add him. Now go behind the computer and there's another battle and tutorial. After the battle, just keep going and there's going to be a bunch of dialogue. After that, go to the right and unlock the elevator. And then another quick tutorial in the character menu. After that, go straight behind you. And then go left. Now go straight down, dash through. Ignore any enemies until you see another computer. Activate the computer and go straight up and then just get this chest because it's on its way and then switch to trailblazer and then just attack this enemy. But you might be able to run past them, I'm not sure. Then go left and straight up down the door and then you're going to unlock light cones which are weapons in this game and just follow the tutorial and equip it. Then go left and down and then there's going to be a chest on your left and then just activate the computer on the right. Cross the bridge and then go left, and now you have to get ready for a boss battle. This boss battle is pretty straightforward, just use Dan Hung and just target the guy in the middle and just break his shield since it's weak to wind. And then there's some tutorials with March 7th shield, and then just use Trailblazer and just use his skill to do an AoE attack since everyone is weak to physical. After some cutscenes and dialogue, Himeko joins your party and then you meet up with Asta, and this is when you unlock summoning and warps. Just follow the tutorial and the game is going to make you summon a free Asta. But first you should do a few things. Redeem every code that you have. I have the ones down below. And then the mailing system is unlocked so go to your inbox and then just claim everything. You will get 400 stellar jades and then you get 20 star rail passes. So now it's up to you if you want to pull for 20 and see if you get a 5 star you want or not. 
or you can just continue and get more pulls. Now here's a huge tip. From the redemption codes, you got some character ascension materials. I highly recommend leveling the Trailblazer and Dan Hung because there's going to be an upcoming boss battle and it is pretty hard. I mean, I did it without leveling them up before, but it was pretty tough. So I highly recommend doing this and I think they're worth the investment as well. And then I leveled March 7th just a little bit since I know I'm going to use it later as well. Go to the right and speak to Arlan and then just pick the last dialogue choice. You'll get some light cones, so make sure you equip them, but I don't recommend upgrading them. Now go north and talk to this lady. Make sure you click got it, and then choose the third dialogue choice. Now head west up the stairs and then talk to this person, and then choose the second dialogue choice. Now you unlock the travel lock, and then just open it up, and then just redeem the special pass, which is used for event banners. And now our goal is to get to Trailblaze level 5, so we can get 10 extra pulls. Now go back to Asta in the middle and then it's going to unlock a cutscene. After some dialogue, approach this enemy and just hit it with March 7th. And just complete the tutorial battle. Now just go forward and open the door and then go to the right. Follow the path, unlock a cutscene, go straight down and then hit this enemy. Now go to the controls here and then make a bridge for yourself. Cross the bridge and then make another one. Cross the bridge and go right and then just go straight up the path. Go right, and now you have an option. What I like to do is I like to fight this enemy so that I could build my ult so I could have an easier boss fight. But you can totally go left and just skip this enemy. Follow the path, and now on the top right, there's a door. You can skip these enemies and just find the controls. Follow the path and go down and just get this chest, and then go left, and then this is where you're going to fight a boss. Okay, now here's the boss strategy. Dan Hong should target the right hand, Trailblazer should target the middle, and then Himeko should just use her AoE skill since everything is weak to fire. And then March 7th should just shield everyone. She should shield herself first and then just everyone else after that. After that, when the boss is down, just use your normal attacks and just fill up your skill points so that March 7th and Himeko can use their skills. After the boss battle, there's a lot of cutscenes and dialogue. Just skip everything and then eventually you'll come to another tutorial and just follow it. Now go straight and find Himeko and there's going to be a short cutscene and some dialogue with Herda. Himeko leaves your party and then the game makes you put someone else in. Just put anyone you want for now. Find Herda's office and then talk to her. And after you speak with her, your trailblaze level will actually go up. So now you can go to your travel log and then claim 10 more pulls. And now, it's up to you. You can pull now or you can just wait a little bit more and then just get 20 total. Now go inside the simulated universe. Now this is the very easy part. Auto battle and fast forwarding is unlocked here. So now you just have to do nothing. After the battles, just click on this arrow and it's gonna overlap with the dialogue choices. So then you can skip through things very easily. And then afterwards, you get to select a blessing. So they're like buffs that you can use in the universe. And yeah, just pick whatever you need and then just skip everything. And then you get Herda at the end. And then afterwards, you get a bunch of rewards, and now you can finally pull. And a quick note, once you actually start doing pulls, you can buy Star Rail Passes in the shop with the Undying Starlight and Undying Embers, and this gives you another 10 pulls, totaling to 50 pulls to guarantee a 5 star. Oh, also don't forget your achievements, you get a bunch of Stellar Jades this way too. Okay, but now here's the tricky part. Because I pulled 40 times and got multiple 4 stars, which gave me a lot of Undying Starlight, I'm able to purchase a Star Rail Pass. Just one. But if you weren't able to pull a lot of 4 stars, you may be short for the last 10 pull. Now if you don't have enough Undying Starlight or Stellar Jades for the last discounted 10 pull, we have a few options. This is also what you should do when the redemption codes run out. Exit Herda's office and then you will unlock navigation. From here, just teleport to the master control zone and then you want to talk to this guy right here. And then all you have to do is just claim one adventure log and then you can claim 50 stellar jades. You can also fight these warp trotters and when you beat them you get 60 stellar jades. One is in the base zone on the top left hallway and the second one is in the storage zone on the bottom left. Make sure you run up to them and hit them quickly or they're going to run away. If you still don't have enough pulls, use the official Honkai Star Rail interactive map to look for chests especially precious ones that give 30 stellar jade. I'll leave a link down below. Also, some people are doing the simulated universe a second time if you want to get extra rewards that way. One warning by the way, 
If you have 10 pulls left on the departure banner and you already pulled a 5 star before that, it does not guarantee you another 5 star because you already got one within 50 pulls. The only reason to pull the last 10 after you got a 5 star is for the discounted rate it gives and which in my opinion is worth it, but it is up to you if you want to save up for the standard banner instead. If you're re-rolling for Zila, my advice is to get to the point where you talk to Herda so that you get 30 star rail passes from the travel log rewards and use them on the departure warp banner. Because when you warp on a banner, you get undying starlight and undying embers. Buy the special passes from the shop from this and don't waste any stellar jades on different banners. Then if you like, grind some chests and warp trotters using the interactive map. Also remember, you get special passes for daily check-ins, so maybe you can log in multiple accounts and try if you want. That's all for today everyone. If you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe for more Honkai Star Rail content, and let me know if you rerolled or not. If you did, who did you end up getting? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care now.